हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड आई होप यू गो थ्रू यू हैव गॉन थ्रू ऑल द वीडियोस ऑफ द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ फाइबर टू फैब्रिक नाउ इट्स टाइम टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स एक्सरसाइज ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर कम्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज रिटर्न दैट क्लासीफाई द फॉलोइंग फाइबर्स एज नेचुरल और सिंथेटिक सो इन द बर्ग इट इज गिवन द नेम ऑफ द फाइबर्स नाइलॉन so as you know we understood through the flow chart types of fibers in that the nylon was the example of artificial fiber so answer will be artificial fiber nylon is a artificial fiber then comes the wool wool is obtained from the animals which bear thick coat of hair on their body so this is nothing uh, but uh, we obtain it from the nature so answer is natural fiber okay cotton again obtained from the cotton plant so it is a natural fiber silk obtained from an insect name as silk worm okay and also again the silk is obtained from the nature hence it is natural fiber polyester polyester is obtained or or should i say polyester is considered as a man made um or should i say synthetic fiber understood the last one is jute which is obtained from the jute plant okay plant fiber is there so it is there in the natural fiber understood now it's time to understand the second one that name two items that are made from coconut fiber okay so as you know that uh, in, uh, some ropes are there some door mats are there some baskets are also there which is made up of the coconut fiber so so many so many different different varieties are there uh, which uh, which are made from the coconut fiber okay now here comes the next question which is true and false true or false the first one is yarn is made from fibers definitely if you twist two to three fibers then you will going to get a long continuous thread which is known as yarn so answer is true second one is spinning is a process of making fibers definitely no okay spinning means what to twist the fiber for forming yarn so that process is known as spinning okay so we cannot say that spinning is a process of making fibers if it is written spinning is a process of making yarn then it would be uh, then answer would be true understood next one is jute is the outer covering of coconut no jute is obtained from the jute plant okay and the covering outer covering of coconut is known as coir okay we understood this thing in the flow chart okay so go through it next one is the process of removing seed from cotton is called ginning process okay so definitely it is true okay that the cotton ball consists of not only just fibers but black seeds also that black seeds we must have to remove it either by hand or by machine this process is known as ginning so answer is true weaving of yarn makes a piece of fabric definitely weaving means two sets of yarn which uh, out of them the one set of yarn goes over and under the other set of yarn okay and due to that reason we can get fabric so answer is true silk fiber is obtained from the stem of a plant no definitely because silk fiber obtained from an insect name as silk worm so it is not a plant okay so answer is false polyester is a natural fiber no it is man made fiber or should i say synthetic fiber so answer is false let's see the next question is filling the blanks first one is plant fibers are obtained from dash and dash okay as we understood that plant fibers are obtained from fruits and stem understood okay uh, for example cotton fiber so cotton fiber is obtained from the fruit part of the plant and jute jute fibers jute fibers obtained from the jute plant after completion of the rotting process okay so uh, answer is fruits and stem second one is animal fibers are very easy two examples which is uh, related with that flow chart 
okay so wool and silk is the answer next one is from which part of plants cotton and jute are obtained so answer is cotton fibers are obtained from fruit of the cotton plant and jute is obtained from the stem of the jute plant here beta i have do underline cotton fibers fruit of the cotton plant uh reason is very simple that uh, when you come in the 10th standard and while you are giving the exam of cbsc board okay so at that time if you will going to go through such process okay if you will do such underline so it would be much easy for the examiner uh, and also it would be beneficial to show your preparation so for as a practice work i used to start to do underline from the 6th standard only so i hope you will also going to go through whatever the main content of your answer is there just underline it okay so it will be show your very well preparation during examination time so for that you have to practice inside the notebook also okay last question of our exercise that is explain the process of making yarn from fiber okay so it will it is very easy that first of all we have to take uh, take the fibers separate it properly okay and then we have to twist it if you twist it then you will going to get a long continuous thread which is known as yarn okay and this process is known as spinning process understood so i hope you understand the exercise okay here come a small homework for you okay uh these things you have to do inside the rough book only okay it is kind of your test okay test yourself no need to just send it okay uh first question is in which state of india jute crops are grown second is what is ginning third is which type of soil is the best for cultivation of cotton then what is yarn then name two simple device used uh, used for spinning in knitting how many sets of yarn are used to make fabric state the uses of cotton uh, what is weaving what are looms name the person who made the charkha popular during independence movement these all these all questions are quite easy okay these things were covered in the explanation of the chapter only so just to go through it and you can going to uh, you will going to get this answer okay so uh, on this note i am going to completing this uh, complete this chapter which is fiber to fabric okay uh, next time i will come with a new point okay till then just go through the chapter 3 again and practice on your own okay have a nice day bye